The robotic procedure is a it's basically a tool that we use for patients who have prostate cancer um, to do the surgery in a way that's less invasive. So this robot is brought in through ports in the human body and then we can do the surgery sitting just next to the patient but we can do the surgery via the robot so our movements are much more precise everything is magnified because of the camera that the robot has and we eliminate all of her tremor and it allows us to to do the surgery in a, a finer uh, more consistent fashion so the patient has a quicker recovery so as i do the surgery the robots under the complete under the surgeon's complete control there's never a situation where the robot will go and do something on its own um, I'll control every motion of the robot. What's nice is that the robot will filter out any tremor that I have. So under magnification, as I perform these intricate maneuvers, uh, I can do it very delicately and not have any tremor on, uh, that might affect the course of the surgery. There are many benefits. Uh, during the time of surgery, chiefly there's a lot less blood loss. We usually don't have to give any blood transfusions to these patients, and so that makes them feel a lot more energetic afterwards. Also, uh, there's not the normal size incision, so patients are able to go home sooner and get back to work a lot quicker. Uh, in term, we're talking in terms of one or two or three weeks versus one or two months with uh, perhaps conventional open surgery. With the robot erectile dysfunction, uh, when we preserve the nerves, I feel that it can give us a better nerve sparing operation. Uh, there are other factors involved as well, which uh, mainly is how the patient was previous to the surgery. Now, uh, as we do the dissection with the robot, if we do it uh, in a controlled fashion, um, trying to minimize the use of cautery or heat, then uh, we can get a really good nurse bearing and hopefully it'll translate into a good result for the patient. Typically patients are very um, are surprised at how, at how they feel after surgery. They were expecting worse. Uh, they usually don't have much pain uh, where all the incisions were. Oftentimes just Tylenol can take care of their pain. Patients uh, are excited about getting the catheter out at one week. That probably is their uh, uh, the thing that uh, becomes their focus the most. Um, and patients are very uh, happy with how quickly they can get back to activities like walking, taking care of things around the house, and even getting back to work. If you consider it like using a tool, you have to become very good with using that tool. Uh, I did a fellowship in robotic surgery and oncology for a year where I gained the uh, expertise uh, to perform these types of surgeries. Also, I think it's important that someone who uh, performs robotic surgery does it frequently. And uh, here we're able to perform these cases four to five times a week, which uh, keeps us, as well as the entire team, um, tuned and uh, able to provide good outcomes for our patients.